We are now on to our next phase with the RSR57 project, which is uh, cover. So we are insulating and we are now going to hang drywall and tape it and get our walls and ceilings in place and all of our finished panels so then the finishes can come in. So here's an example of all the insulation that's being put into the interior partition walls. We do this you know, not only for thermal reasons but also for sound and acoustical reasons to keep the building quiet. So the way we hang the drywall is we measure and cut it to the dimensions required and we hang it on the wall with uh, screws. Uh, these are drywall screws that penetrate the steel stud formations underneath and hang it onto the frame. One of the things we pay a lot of attention to in a space like this is sound attenuation. You got residents above you and below you and you want to keep all the sound within this unit and not have that transmit through. So when it comes to drywall, we use thicker drywall, 5 h drywall, and we use a sure board. It's got a metal plate on the back that also helps with sound attenuation, very dense. One of the fun things about the drywall phase is a lot of the spaces come into fruition. So you can really transition from the open steel stud framing where it's kind of hard to see what the spaces are to now we have actual walls and defined spaces. So we have bathrooms and a room behind us here and a pantry. This is going to be our kitchen area here. This will be a uh, pocket wall partition that will close off this room from the open spaces. And then if you look down this way, you'll see how wide open the grand spaces are. And then of course, the primary amenity here is this incredible view that they have. Now that we are nearing the end of the drywall hanging phase, we will bring in the plasters, we will tape uh, the corner beads and make all the screws and blemishes go away and be smooth walls. After which we will paint and start to bring in the finishes uh, into the building, which will be really fun. So the act of plastering the drywall is often referred to as taping. So sometimes people ask, well, what is taping? So there actually is a paper tape that gets put onto the seam and they, uh, with the plaster, they run the plaster off of that and then they'll fill in and build out that seam until it's uh, smooth with the wall. Same is true for the outside corners. There is what's called a corner bead. It's got a metal corner in there with tape on it and they will plant that onto the corner here, the, to the hard corner. So up to this point in the project, we've been working on infrastructure such as framing and creating the spaces and then the rough ends like plumbing and electrical to get all of our utilities in place and now cover so we can actually get our wall surfaces uh, in place. That means we're now going to enter into the finishing phase of the project, which means tile and stone, uh, hardwood flooring, interior doors, cabinetry, all the fun stuff is going to come next. <laughs>